the time of driving for three hours and charging for two has officially come to an end. Based on data collected from Tesla Semi drivers over the past two years, when a fully loaded Tesla Semi is driven for approximately seven hours, it requires only about 45 minutes to recharge its battery on average. And when Elon Musk stated that 2026 would be a breakout year for Tesla, most people naturally assumed he was referring to Tesla Optimus or RoboTaxi. However, what few could have anticipated was that this statement was actually pointing to the Tesla Semi, a vehicle widely regarded as the most challenging model Tesla has ever attempted to manufacture. There was no need to wait long. On the very first day of 2026, Elon Musk unveiled the latest design of the Tesla Semi, the commercial version scheduled to go on sale in 2026 under the name Gen 2. In addition, the upgrade of the charging infrastructure to 1.2 megawatt has become a major advantage, giving drivers strong confidence to rapidly transition from diesel-powered trucks to EV trucks. That said, to be completely honest, we do not yet have a full and official list of the specific changes in the Tesla Semi Gen 2 compared to the original prototype. However, based on the prototype currently in operation, we have personally observed at least 17 newly refreshed design elements along with a completely unexpected redesign of the side windows, a change no one anticipated Elon Musk would be able to achieve, particularly given the more compact overall design of Tesla Semi. So what does the design evolution of Tesla Semi Gen 2 look like? And will this design be used for the official production model released later this year? Welcome to Tesla Car World. At first glance, the Tesla Semi may look familiar. Its modern silhouette, pristine, white bodywork, and central driving position still make it clear that this is no ordinary heavy-duty truck. However, when the 2017 prototype is placed side-by-side -side with the latest second-generation Tesla Semi design, it becomes evident that what Tesla has done goes far beyond cosmetic refinement. It represents a fundamental redesign focused on efficiency, manufacturability, serviceability, and autonomy. So what does the design evolution of Tesla Semi Gen 2 look like? And will this design be used for the official production model released later this year? Welcome to Tesla Car World. At first glance, the Tesla Semi may look familiar. Its modern silhouette, pristine, white bodywork, and central driving position still make it clear that this is no ordinary heavy-duty truck. However, when the 2017 prototype is placed side-by-side -side with the latest second-generation Tesla Semi design, it becomes evident that what Tesla has done goes far beyond cosmetic refinement. It represents a fundamental redesign focused on efficiency, manufacturability, serviceability, and autonomy. The most immediately noticeable difference is at the front end. The 2017 Semi featured an aggressive, almost concept car-like nose, an elongated, steeply sloped windshield, a complex front bumper geometry, and a design clearly optimized to showcase Tesla's aerodynamic ambitions rather than the practical realities of mass production. By contrast, the Gen 2 Tesla Semi features a cleaner, more streamlined front-end design. The front bumper is simpler, flatter, and divided into modular sections, a deliberate choice that significantly reduces repair complexity and vehicle downtime. For fleet operators, this change alone directly translates into lower insurance costs and faster turnaround times after minor collisions. The updated light bar design is a subtle yet meaningful improvement. Rather than prioritizing visual drama, the new lighting adopts a more linear and integrated layout, enhancing visibility while eliminating unnecessary surface complexity. This is the difference between a prototype designed to impress and a mass production vehicle engineered to perform day in and day out. One of the most heavily criticized aspects of the early Tesla Semi was its oversized windshield and rear glass section. While visually striking, this excess glass offered limited functional benefit while adding weight, increasing costs, and reducing thermal efficiency. The second-generation design shortens the windshield and smooths the roofline, eliminating unnecessary glass and replacing it with a more coherent aerodynamic structure. This change directly contributes to an improved drag coefficient, reduced from approximately zero. 0.36 to around 0.33. A reduction of 0.03 may sound minor, but in long-haul freight operations, it is transformative. Even modest aerodynamic gains can deliver 5 to 8% efficiency improvements, translating into tens of additional miles per charge and thousands of dollars in annual savings per truck. In this context, the Gen 2 roof design is not merely an aesthetic update. It represents a meaningful step toward sustainable operational advantages. The original Tesla Semi was effectively hand-built. 
Its complex curves, thick body panels, and unique structural elements made sense when production volumes were measured in dozens of units, not tens of thousands. The second-generation semi clearly reflects Tesla's shift toward mass production. The body panels are flatter, transitions are smoother, and tolerances appear more forgiving, hallmarks of a vehicle engineered for automated assembly lines. The cab structure now prioritizes repeatability and production speed without compromising aerodynamic integrity. This transformation enables Tesla to pursue its stated goal of producing approximately 50,000 semi-trucks per year, or nearly 200 units per day. The design is no longer constrained by experimental ambition. It has been optimized for industrial reality. Weight reduction is one of the most important yet least discussed design upgrades. According to reports, the Gen 2 Tesla Semi has a curb weight of under 23,000 pounds, representing a substantial improvement over earlier versions. Every pound saved in the tractor translates directly into one additional pound of payload capacity. For fleet operators, this has a direct impact on revenue per trip. Compared with the first-generation Semi, which prioritized battery capacity and structural robustness over mass optimization, the second-generation design reflects a far more mature understanding of commercial trucking economics. The revised chassis architecture further improves structural efficiency, distributes loads more evenly, and reduces stress concentrations, critical factors for vehicles expected to log millions of miles over their operational lifetimes. The original Tesla Semi already delivered aerodynamic performance superior to that of most sports cars. However, its design pushed beyond what was strictly necessary, sometimes at the expense of practicality. The second-generation Semi refines this approach. Rather than pursuing extreme shaping, Tesla has focused on airflow consistency. With smoother transitions between body panels, fewer sharp edges, and cleaner flow separation points, the result is not only a lower drag coefficient, but also more predictable aerodynamic behavior across varying speeds and wind conditions. This matters because real-world efficiency is not measured in controlled test environments, but on open highways, in crosswinds, and while traversing mountain passes. The Gen 2 design reflects lessons learned from the millions of real-world miles accumulated by early Tesla semi-fleets. One of the most notable design changes is also one of the most subtle, the addition and repositioning of cameras, particularly above the front wheel arches. This is not a styling choice, but a structural commitment to full self-driving. The first-generation Semi was never truly prepared for autonomy. The second-generation is. Camera placement now prioritizes redundancy, wheel tracking, and low-angle visibility, capabilities that are absolutely critical for a fully autonomous, heavy-duty truck operating in complex freight environments. This evolution in design makes one thing clear. Tesla is no longer asking whether autonomous technology will arrive, but when. Every visible design change, from the simplified front bumper to the optimized roofline, from weight reduction to sensor placement centered on autonomy, reflects a clear shift from experimentation to dominance. This is not a redesign meant to attract attention. It is a redesign meant to win contracts, cut costs, and operate continuously. Con compared to the first generation, the original Semi was a promise. The second generation Semi is a weapon built for mass deployment. In an industry where margins are thin, downtime is costly, and efficiency determines survival, that distinction is everything. Model Y inspired headlights with improved efficiency, increased payload capacity, energy consumption of approximately 1.7 kilowatt hour per mile, around 15% more efficient than the previous Semi, a platform designed from the ground up for autonomous driving. A 500-mile driving range, 1.2 megawatt peak charging, 800 kilowatt hour of motor output, more compact side window proportions, silver diamond pattern, anti-slip steps, and numerous additional improvements throughout the interior. The most immediately recognizable update is the headlight design, which serves as the clearest visual indicator that this is an upgraded semi. The new headlights closely resemble those found on the Model Y, perhaps by as much as 90% with the primary difference being scale, as the semi's units are slightly larger to suit a heavy-duty truck. Compared to the previous generation headlights, the two designs are almost entirely unrelated. While the earlier lights made a bold statement and delivered exceptional illumination, many will likely prefer the cleaner, more modern look of the updated design. According to Sawyer Merritt, the new semi is also more efficient overall. That term encompasses a broad range of factors, including aerodynamics, range, 
drivability, and energy consumption. Although Tesla has not yet detailed each improvement individually, one confirmed upgrade is an increase in payload capacity. For an electric truck, increasing payload capacity ultimately comes down to managing weight. There are two realistic approaches. The first is reducing curb weight through material optimization, using more aluminum, high-strength steel, or composite materials for the frame, cab, and supporting structures. It is quite possible that Tesla has made meaningful material changes in the new version, although this has not been officially confirmed. The second and more clearly substantiated approach is battery technology advancement. By adopting batteries with higher energy density, Tesla can reduce total battery mass while maintaining the same driving range, freeing up additional payload capacity. In fact, information leaked last year and later confirmed by Dan Priestley indicates that the Tesla Semi is transitioning to a high-voltage battery system based on 4680 cells. Previously, Tesla used LFP batteries in Semi prototypes to control costs and improve safety. While LFP chemistry offers several advantages, it suffers from a key limitation, lower energy density. To achieve a 500-mile range, Tesla was forced to use a very large number of cells, resulting in a battery pack of roughly 900 kWh, significantly increasing vehicle weight and reducing payload efficiency. Although individual LFP cells are relatively inexpensive, the sheer quantity required raises overall system costs. In long-haul trucking, where every kilogram matters, heavy battery packs directly reduce payload capacity, increase energy consumption, and negatively impact overall operating efficiency. This is precisely why Tesla has confirmed the shift to 4680 battery cells. With an energy density of approximately 300 watt-hour per kilogram, nearly double that of LFP cells at around 175 watt-hour per kilogram, Tesla can achieve the same total energy capacity using far fewer cells. The result is a substantially lighter tractor unit. Another major technical highlight is the 1.7 kilowatt hour per mile energy consumption figure. This represents a significant engineering achievement and reflects roughly a 15% efficiency improvement over the previous generation. These gains are not the result of a single change, but rather the combined effect of optimizations across the battery system, powertrain, aerodynamics, and control software. In long haul freight operations, even small efficiency gains can translate into tens of thousands of dollars in annual energy savings per truck. At this efficiency level, the Tesla Semi approaches territory previously reserved for light-duty electric vehicles. Over a service life spanning hundreds of thousands of miles, this efficiency either allows for smaller battery packs per trip or enables longer distances with the same battery capacity. Both outcomes reduce upfront costs and further improve payload capability. Despite these improvements, Tesla has confirmed that the driving range remains at 500 miles, rather than increasing to 600 or 700 miles as some rumors suggested. Following the introduction of the high-voltage battery platform, Dan Priestley explained that Tesla deliberately chose to maintain range while reducing battery size and weight. This approach allows the Semi to increase payload capacity while also lowering production costs compared to earlier prototypes. The most attention-grabbing upgrade is the Semi's ultra-fast charging capability. Official Tesla footage shows the truck reaching an impressive 1.2 megawatt charging rate at a mega charger station. The charging port itself has also been redesigned, more compact and visually aligned with the NACS-style ports used across Tesla's vehicle lineup. Engineers were visibly celebrating as the Semi reached the 1.2 megawatt milestone, and for good reason. No other commercial electric truck has demonstrated charging at this level. How does Tesla explain the 1.2 megawatt charging capability? Visually, the second generation Semi appears far more tightly integrated with Tesla's mega charging ecosystem. The placement of the charging port, the clearances around the body, and the design of the side fairings all indicate a vehicle engineered to support 1.2 megawatt ultra fast charging without compromising thermal management. Where the original design treated charging capability as a technological achievement, the Gen 2 Semi treats it as a routine operational requirement. This shift reinforces the Semi's transition from experimental infrastructure to mission-critical infrastructure. Based on the latest developments leading into 2026, the Tesla Semi is transitioning from a phase of limited testing into a more refined second generation, one that is fully prepared for mass production. Tesla's most recent updates indicate 
that the company has moved beyond the prototype stage and is now fine-tuning the semi for real-world, large-scale freight operations. These updates include improvements in powertrain efficiency, durability, manufacturability, and, most critically, the charging system, which has been redesigned both in form and function. The most significant change in the second-generation Tesla Semi is the evolution of its charging interface. Early versions of the Semi relied on a bulky prototype-style charging port, designed primarily to test megawatt-level power delivery. While functional, that design was not optimized for durability, standardization, or daily fleet use. The latest version replaces this system with a redesigned charging port that aligns closely with the finalized megawatt charging system standard. This new design is smaller, more tightly integrated into the vehicle body, and mechanically simpler, reflecting Tesla's shift from experimental hardware to a scalable, industrial-grade solution. From a performance standpoint, this redesign allows the Tesla Semi to reliably accept charging power of up to approximately 1.2 megawatts. Power levels of this magnitude fundamentally change the operating equation for long-haul electric freight. High power charging dramatically reduces downtime, enabling the truck to recover a substantial portion of its range within a standard 30-minute driver break. Rather than becoming a logistical bottleneck, charging is synchronized with mandatory rest periods, improving asset utilization and route efficiency the impact of standardization is equally significant. By adopting an MCS-compliant connector instead of a proprietary experimental solution, Tesla positions the semi within the broader commercial EV charging ecosystem. This improves long-term infrastructure compatibility and reduces the risk of fleet operators being locked into a single charging provider. For logistics companies, this flexibility is critical when planning cross-regional routes, warehouse placement, and long-term electrification strategies. The redesigned charging system also significantly enhances thermal and mechanical reliability. Megawatt-level charging generates extreme heat, which, if not properly managed, can accelerate battery degradation and cause premature wear on connectors. Tesla's updated charging port design incorporates improved cooling pathways and a more robust physical interface, minimizing thermal stress during repeated high-power charging sessions. Over the vehicle's lifespan, this directly translates into lower maintenance requirements, extended battery longevity, and more predictable operating costs. So, if the Tesla Semi Gen 2 can realistically match diesel duty cycles with 45-minute charging breaks, should governments accelerate regulations that push fleets away from diesel, or should the market decide on its own? Please share your opinion in the comments section below this video. Thanks for watching our video. Subscribe now so you don't miss the next breaking Tesla update. It's coming in just two days. If you want to explore more exciting information about Tesla EV or Tesla Bot, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.